besides yours, of course, which are your favorite books of education? Oh, okay. Well, there's quite a few. I actually made a little bit of a list here because I thought, oh, you know, that's a question I know she's going to ask me. <laughs> so uh, I never use flashcards. How are children really learn and why they need to play more and memorize less. And that book, it's not a real 2017 book, but still it is applicable to today. And then another one is mind in the making. So in other words, in a way you can you can program the brain, but how do you work with the mind? And the mind is really about all of our dimensions, the physical, the mental, the emotional, the spiritual, the social. And so here's a book called The Mind in the Making, The Seven Essential Life Skills Every Child Needs. This Mind in the Making book is what I do recommend because it is about creating the mind. And in my that I'm writing, I will be addressing that as well, you know, really working with the mind. There's the essence of the brain and we can grow more brain, but then there's that whole part of the mind and how we can use all of our being to create our mind. And another book that I would say, suggest is Smart Parenting for Smart Kids, Nurturing Your Child's True Potential. And then probably the one that's the most important and very new today. This was on LinkedIn, so he actually is on LinkedIn. So I recommend, you know, people getting on LinkedIn because some of the very, very good authors are on there is emotional intelligence 2.0 now daniel goldman wrote the first emotional intelligence book you know it was good reading i would say this one is even better because it talks about the four horsemen and i believe that many parents use the four horsemen on their children and in fact i believe teachers use the four horsemen of all the books that i've mentioned um i would say that emotional intelligence 2.0 is probably one of the best books to read as a parent. My daughter is is pregnant right now, and I think I may buy her the book as a gift so that she and her husband as parents can be mindful of that. Are you listening?